let's go over tennis ball rolling through the glutes and your piriformis muscle. Uh, how we're going to do this is we're going to start with a tennis ball under one glute. You're going to take the ankle on the same side as the ball is on and put it on the opposite knee. Uh, we're starting with the leg out, and if you find any tender spots in there with your leg out, then just stay there, breathe in deep, breathe back out, try to relax, uh, relax onto that pressure point. If you can't find any tender spots, then bring that other leg in and work your legs in towards your torso, flexing at the hip, and exp uh, which will stretch the glutes out more. And again, we're going to start digging through that glute muscle. We're working top to bottom, and then we're working outside as we go. Uh, and we're just trying to work through there, find any tight spots and any spots that are sore to press on. When you find a spot to sore to press on, I want you to stop and I want you to take deep breaths in, try to fill up that whole diaphragm, breathe back out. Breathe in deep and then breathe back out. Typically, the tight spots on uh, for me are usually up around the origin of the muscle along the, the edge of your pelvis. And then as I get outside towards the head of the femur, it tends to get pretty tight. You might find a spot that makes your leg go numb. That is your piriformis muscle, and it's okay to press on that. Uh, it's nothing wrong. Your leg will go a little numb while you're doing it, but the feeling uh, will return right after you take pressure off of that. Um, beyond that, this is a good way to st start loosening some of those tissues in the glutes and start loosening some of those tissues that uh, can put tension onto your lower back and that kind of stuff. So, y'all have fun doing this, and I hope it helps you.